And Samson had strength that, that, that was unnatural, that was supernatural strength. He was able to do stuff other men couldn't do. Let's turn to the book of Judges. I want to show you something else. Judges. That's what Samson is. Judges 13. Somebody say, I'm super. Uh, amen. Say it like you mean to say, I'm super. I'm a wonder. And I'm incredible. Judges 13, verse 24. Judges 13, verse 24 through 25. Judges 13, 24 through 25. The Bible says, and the, and the woman bare a son and called his name Samson. And the child grew and the Lord blessed him. And the spirit of the Lord began to move him at times in the camp of Dan between Zorah and Eshtokar. Now go to Judges 15, 14, 5 through 6. Then went Samson down and his father and his mother to Timnath and came to the vineyards of Timnath, and behold, a young lion roared against him. And the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him, and he rent him as he would have rent a kid. And he had nothing in his hand. But he told not his father or his mother what he had done. Now that's some incredible. That's some supernatural. He took a line and destroyed a line with his bare hand. Now, when I saw that scripture, the Lord said, that looks like, that scene, that looks like, and, and kind of reminds me of the incredible hope. You see, the Incredible Hulk was just Bruce Banner, as long as you know, ev everything's fine. He was just a normal guy. <laughs> won't, won't bother nobody, just a nice little regular guy. Nobody never, you know, know who he was, but until you made him mad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Now, I know everybody knows about Incredible Hulk, even the young people, because you know, I know it's a 70s show, but they brought it back in 2000. So, so, uh, and, and, and what he was... His favorite phrase was, you won't like me when I'm angry. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. You don't want me to get mad. Uh, amen. The attitude we need to have as a church is like, yeah. hey, you can say what you want, but don't lay your hands on me. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. You see, uh, some folks think Christians ain't supposed to get angry. But my Bible teaches me that Jesus got angry enough and whooped folk out the church. I said, no, nah, I ain't going to go there. But he, 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 he whooped them out. Amen. Now, what we as a church need to start doing is we need to start getting mad at the devil. We need to start getting angry and start changing and start making some things happen. Because you can become the incredible hawk. All you got to do is get mad at the devil. <laughs> but all we want to do is talk about, woe is me. And, Man, the devil busy in my life. No, you get busy. Get mad at him. And tell that devil, take your hands off my children. Take your hands off my, my husband and my wife. Take your hands off my finances, devil. And we can't and we can't forget Pop out of Sailor Man. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> I mean old Popeye just man, dog Popeye. But he loves some Alice, right? Olive oil. Olive oil. And and every time old Brutus come around, wanna mess with olive oil or do something blase blase and uh 
It always turn out the same way. He go to beating the snot out of Popeye, just whooping it, just senseless. Huh? Right, anybody ever felt like Popeye? Yeah. Just, no, just, just getting beat up. But, all he needed was a can. Come on, come on, somebody. All he needed was one can of spinach. And it's all over. Huh? You see, the problem we got is we don't want to eat our spinach. You, you got it, boy. You got it. Yeah, we want to come and hear a song and all that, but we got to eat the spinach. Somebody say, open up a can, open up a can. Open up a can of beat down. Now we're not going. We're not going to leave here, uh, making you think that you're all powerful, because you're a superhero. We want you to know you're a superhero, but we can't let you. We can't leave here, uh, 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 making you think that after the day everything gonna be all right. You ain't gonna get beat up no more. No, 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 no. Because every superhero has a weakness. Every superhero has a weakness. For Superman, it was kryptonite. Every time he got close to kryptonite, he lost his power. And he had to get away from kryptonite to become Superman again. Uh, Wonder Woman, she had no power without her bracelets and her lasso. She was powerless. They took them off. She can't do nothing. The Incredible Hulk was only strong when he was angry, as long as he was happy and content. He ain't got no strength. Are y'all seeing what I'm saying? Popeye was a wimp until he ate his spinach. And what these weaknesses represent is what? Sin. That's all. That's it. That's it. Sin, 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 sin. And whenever we are in sin, close to sin, around sin, Doing sin, we have no power. We have no power. And the reason we're, we're getting beat up and losing, we're superheroes now. We want, we supermen. We wonder women. We incredible children. But the reason we can't win is because we got too much sin. See, it didn't make no difference. The Superman had his, had, his, had his S on his chest and his cape on around kryptonite. It didn't make no difference. God, folk like, man, that's why I can't never get nowhere. Somebody said, thank God I got super friends, though. <laughs> Y'all going to get a revelation in a minute. I'm going to wait on you to get it. Yeah, we got super man. We got super woman. We got the incredible children. Yes, we all got our weakness, we got our faults, and we got our errors, we got our things that we need help with, everybody in here. But, 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 but what God has done, because he knows every superhero has a weakness, he brought the superheroes together one day. I remember when Jesus told his disciples, he said, I no longer call you servants, now I call you friends, because now you got the power. That's basically what he was telling them. Now, now, my favorite cartoon was the Super Friends. And that was 
when Superman and Wonder Woman, Batman, Aquaman, Robin, and they, uh, all the other men, all the other superheroes got together, and they formed what was called the Justice League, and, and they would fight crime together. Oh, I wish, oh, wish y'all could see it the way I see it. And they called themselves the Super Friends. And every now and then, one or two super friends would get caught by the enemy. 